But as we saw with the attack on the market here, with US drones flying overhead and very possibly coordinating the bomb attack on the market itself, it's the West who are acting aggressively. The people of Halep just want to get on with their lives in peace. And that is more possible now since the Islamic State took over. The media points that the Islamic State has set up in Halep and all around the other towns where they hand out media and news information. Thank you very much indeed. The idea is that it counters the news that comes out from the West and so it gives the people here on the ground an idea of what the Islamic State is really doing and not the distorted view that people get from the Western media. And of course, what made all the headlines in the Western media recently were the attacks carried out in France. So it is only fitting to close with a few words from a French mujahid living here in Halab. Donc tout d'abord, salat wa salam ala habibuna nabiuna Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ces trois attaques ont fait que de nous réjouir ici. Et à chaque fois qu'on entendra parler que un frère ou plusieurs défendront leur religion en Occident, on, on ne sera que, que, que plus que réjoui. On a appris il y a quelques jours ces attaques et qui nous ont fait grand plaisir. Et on attend que d'autres frères prennent le même exemple et les attaquent. Avant ces attaques-là, il y a eu Mohamed Marrah, qu'Allah l'accepte en martyr, et il a fait quelque chose d'extraordinaire. J'encourage tous mes frères qui sont en France, tous, tous mes frères qui sont en Occident, de défendre leur religion. À l'heure actuelle, Allah ne vous a pas permis d'émigrer dans un autre pays Ce n'est pas un problème. Défendez votre religion sur place. Tuez-les avec des couteaux. Crachez-leur au minimum à la figure. Mais désavez-vous d'eux. Dites-leur que notre religion a besoin... Dites-vous bien que notre religion a besoin de vous. Plus que vous le pensez. Vous êtes assis dans des fauteuils alors qu'aujourd'hui, partout dans le monde, les musulmans ils se font massacrer. Quelle va être votre excuse devant Allah quelle excuse va être devant cet orphelin qui a perdu sa famille et vous n'avez pas bougé pour venir le défendre Je vous encourage donc soit à venir, soit à défendre votre religion sur place. Tous nos frères en France, nous leur disons, partez en opération seul. Soyez un loup solitaire. À vous tout seul, vous pouvez être une armée. Et je dis à tous ces pays occidentaux qui ont décidé de nous attaquer, nous-mêmes, on arrive pour vous attaquer. Et on est déjà là pour vous attaquer. Les musulmans... En Occident, vous êtes des milliers. Vous, êtes, vous, êtes, vous pouvez faire des carnages. Donc à vous de vous bouger et de faire les choses nécessaires pour la défense de votre religion. The Mujahideen are not phased by the bombings at all and continue to conduct classes on the banks of the Euphrates River or maybe a little fishing or just enjoying a relaxing cup of tea back in town. And despite the bombings we just saw, people are still getting on with it. They continue to build new dwellings out of this gorgeous white stone that Halab is so famous for. It is used extensively here in single villa homes to big city apartment buildings. And all over Halab's countryside and inside its towns, which are under the control of the Islamic State, the standard of the caliphate flutters high. It is the Sharia law that rules here. So let us explore this law further inside a Sharia court of the Islamic State. Of course, where you have the Islamic State, you have Sharia law. It is one of the absolute principles why they fight. And it is a very different rule of law to that which went before. It is 1,400 years old, and it is the rule of God, the rule of Allah. And therefore, it cannot be changed. Unlike the laws of democratic countries, which change to fit every circumstance or to fit every different week. Uh, the rules of Sharia are remarkably simple. For example, if you are convicted of robbery with the correct number of witnesses and such forth, you have your hand cut off. Sounds harsh, but you're not going to commit the same crime again, and it will dissuade others from doing the same. This is a waiting room where normal civilians wait to see a Sharia court judge and like any other waiting room of any other law court in the world, they're playing TV in the background. This being the Islamic State, they're playing Islamic State videos, and I must say, they're a lot more entertaining than watching the news at six. 
We're on the outskirts of the town of Akhtadin in Halab's northeastern province. This is where the Islamic State starts and runs all the way over to Mosul in Iraq. It is a complex situation and Mujahideen have been gathering here in anticipation of the fight ahead and there's more US airstrikes overhead. So let's go in and talk to the Mujahideen and find out what's been going on. There's been an increase in the number of US airstrikes over Islamic State territory. How do these strikes affect the Mujahideen? ولا طبيعة أهله المنافحون عنه فإن هذا الدين لو كان قائم على أشخاص لانتهى هذا الدين بموت محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ومت الخلفاء الراشدين والتاريخ حافل بالشواهد الكثيرة على ذلك وتاريخنا المعاصر يشهد لذلك فقد قتل الشيخ أبو مصعب الزرقاوي فما توقف القتال وقتل بعده الشيخ أبا عمر البغدادي وأبا حمزة المهاجر فما توقف القتال بل اشتد وتوسع ولله الحمد والمنة وهم لم يسلكوا هذا الطريق إلا لأجل هذه الغاية ألا وهي القتل في سبيل الله وليعلم الغرب الكافر أن القتل في سبيل الله أن قتل قيادات الجهاد ما هو إلا مشجع لنا وحافز لنا على هذا الطريق بإذن الله تعالى now, one of the common accusations of the West is that under an Islamic State, education will suffer. Religious studies and changes to the curriculum don't quite fit their image of progressive schooling. But here in al Bab, these young men here are learning Quran recital and languages. And with any luck, they will form the Mujahideen for the next generation in this region. Now floating around in the skies above us is a drone. I don't know if you can just see it up there above my right shoulder. Uh, but there were drones in Mosul and now there are drones flying overhead here in al Bab, just northeast of Halab. But life continues. The Mujahideen really don't care how many eyes in the sky are looking down on them. And uh, at some point that drone will be taking photographs, dropping bombs or firing missiles. We're in the middle here of the market, which is a completely civilian area, and there's just been a large bomb strike on that building behind me. We heard the explosion. We were just about five minutes over that way. The fire brigade, the Islamic State fire brigade are here trying to clear up the mess, but it's absolute pandemonium. And all this follows a drone which we saw five minutes ago, and then Assad's air force comes in and drops bombs on the market. Now, as far as I know, the Syrian Air Force does not have drones. That must have been an American drone, but that was definitely a Saad bomb dropping here on the market. So, what's going on? Someone is working with someone around here to drop bombs. Look around. It's smashed there. It's smashed there. The people are absolutely terrified from bombs being dropped by Assad's aircraft, but with American drones flying overhead. Okay, we've been told we've got to get out of this area because that drone's in the sky, they might hit this area again. So we've got to get out of here. Everyone's been told to clear the streets. So we've got to go. Come on, let's go. Okay. Donc c'est le plus grand quartier général encore, je le répète. Et uh, white helmets. Ça, c'est Daesh, Chabet Anasfa. Ça, c'est les White Helmets. Okay. The Syrian rescue group known as the White Helmets has apologized for an error of judgment. That's after members of the group staged a rescue scene for the mannequin challenge in which people freeze for the camera. The action sparked anger across social media. This particular clip was deleted from the group's accounts only a few hours after it was posted. And yet the hero of the footage put a photo on Facebook from the production. In his poster, he praises the White Helmets, thanking them for his rescue. White Helmets are welcomed at executions staged by jihadists. Obviously, no point trying to rescue that fellow. 
الاخر من يحمل الى They are fantastically brave, uh, these white helmets. I'm proud to say we're giving them uh, another, I think, 32 million pounds. The Western officials who are supporting the terrorists during the last five years in Syria, either by providing them with political umbrella or supporting them directly. The West uh, have always tried to personalize uh, things and just to avoid the real problem, which is about deposing government and getting rid of certain president, just to bring a puppet to suit their agenda. So to, again, going back to the beginning, no, I don't care about what Kerry said at all. It has no influence on me.